Hey cat lovers and welcome back to another video. For the most part, cats are perfectly capable of grooming themselves. Although bathing is usually unnecessary, there are some scenarios in which it might be hard to avoid. As a cat owner, it's important to understand when and when not a bath is needed to keep your furry friend comfortable and healthy. If you enjoyed this kind of content, consider subscribing to the channel for more cat videos. Now let's answer the question of should you bathe your cat? In this video, we'll also cover other cat hygiene 101 tips. Cats are natural self-groomers. Before we even get into the bathing question, it's important to understand what cats are capable of on their own in terms of hygiene. Cat lovers can celebrate because our feline friends are known for giving a lot of importance to their hygiene and appearance. Grooming is one of the most commonly observed cat behaviors. You may be surprised, however, at just how much time cats actually spend grooming themselves. It's thought that cats spend between 30 to 50% of their day grooming. With such a rigorous routine, it's not surprising that cats usually don't need our help to maintain their hygiene. To understand why it's often not a good idea to bathe your cat, you need to know what your cat is doing when it grooms itself. Aside from keeping their fur clean and soft, cats will groom for a multitude of other reasons. Grooming allows cats to cover themselves in their scent and properly distribute natural oils throughout their coat. These oils are essential to maintaining the healthy, sleek look of a cat's coat. Additionally, cats will groom themselves as a self-soothing technique and stimulate circulation throughout their bodies. Grooming also allows cats to cool down if they feel too hot and regulate their body temperatures. So, grooming is an essential part of a cat's day that shouldn't be underestimated. Overgrooming Though it's normal for cats to spend a lot of time grooming, they can overgroom. If you notice that your cat is missing patches of fur or has abrasions on their skin from excessive licking, it may be a sign of overgrooming. At this point, it's important to take your cat to the veterinarian to get a professional opinion. Cats can overgroom for many reasons, including high stress, neurological disorders, psychological disorders, or an infestation of fleas. All of these situations need to be handled by a professional. If your cat has recently undergone a significant change in their lifestyle, they may be more prone to excessive grooming. Some examples include moving homes, undergoing surgery, or the introduction or loss of a family member, including another pet. When to bathe your cat If you choose to bathe your cat when it's unnecessary, you risk disrupting their grooming routine. You'll likely end up stripping their skin and coat of the oils that they worked so hard to distribute. Overall, it's not a good idea to bathe your cat unless it's necessary. Your cat will probably be grateful too. Cats tend to strongly dislike baths. So regularly and unnecessarily bathing your cat can have detrimental effects on your relationship. Your cat may grow to associate your handling with bath time. This may lead to your cat shying away from interactions with you, especially those that involve close contact. To avoid creating this negative association between handling and bath time, just don't give your cat baths unless they need to. Baths are usually unnecessary and will just put unneeded stress on your cat. Bathing your cat. Despite that, there are situations when a bath is necessary. For example, elderly or disabled cats may not be able to groom themselves properly or without pain, so you will need to help them out. The same goes for obese or heavily overweight cats. Most of the time, you should be able to just wipe your cat down with cat-safe wet wipes and get them mostly clean. However, you may have to put them in the bath every once in a while if their coat becomes mangled or covered in dirt. Like with other cats, you should be brushing them regularly. Also note that if you have a hairless cat, you should be bathing it once a week. These cats produce an excessive amount of oil and need to be bathed to maintain healthy skin, which makes them an exception to other cats. Other situations in which you'd have to bathe your cat include if they had an accident like diarrhea or skunked, or if they get into mud or another messy substance. In these cases, one bath should suffice and you shouldn't make it a habit. Before we continue, it's time to talk about today's sponsor, High CC Pet. Since bathing is so invasive and uncomfortable for cats, it should always be your last resort. But thankfully, if your cat has accumulated some grime or dirt on their fur, you don't have to go straight to the bath. Instead, consider trying High CC Pet Hypoallergenic Glove Wipes. These durable glove wipes are designed to be used on cats and dogs. They were specifically created for sensitive skin, so you don't have to worry about the gloves being too harsh on your pet's coat. This plant-based formula is made with organic 7-day fermented coconut oil and all-natural oatmeal. They are highly effective at cleaning your pet, eliminating odors, and nourishing hair all within a few quick wipes. Not only can these gloves be used on your pet's body, but they're also safe for the face. In fact, the wipes make it easy to clean the eyes, ears, mouth, fur, and bum. The experience of being wiped with gloves is far more comfortable for your cat than a bath as it more closely mimics brushing. 
These are also a great option for dogs that are a little dirty but don't need a full out bath just yet. After testing these wipes, we think they are especially ideal for cleaning dirty paws or you know what on their butt. So consider giving these gloves a try because your furry friend will thank you. You can find a link to a 10% discount code in the description box below. Now back to the show. The importance of regularly brushing. Though you should not be bathing your cat unless it's necessary, you should be regularly brushing your cat. By brushing your cat, you can help their circulation and stimulate their coat. This will help their coat maintain its sleek, beautiful appearance. Brushing is good for a cat's skin as well. Cats tend to enjoy being brushed, so brushing your cat regularly can also have a positive impact on your relationship. It can become a time of bonding and building trust between you and your cat. Long-haired cats should be brushed daily, while short-haired cats should be brushed at least once a week. On all cats, you should focus most of your brushing around the ears, the back of the head, and the back of the legs. Not only will brushing your cat be beneficial for your cat, but it will also help prevent the buildup of cat hair around the house. Keeping your cat clean. You may need to clean your cat's ears or trim their nails every once in a while. Most cats do not need their ears clean, but some might if they are prone to buildup or infections. Just remember to always ask your vet first. If your cat does need it, cleaning their ears can be very easy and simple. All you need to do is softly wipe them clean with a cotton pad or cotton ball. Note that cotton swab should always be avoided as they are too harsh for a cat's ears. If your cat's ears are especially dirty, you can try using a designated cat ear cleaning solution. Make sure to pamper your cat with lots of treats while you clean their ears as it can be somewhat uncomfortable. It's important not to overclean a cat's ears, however, as this can lead to irritation and damage. If the cat's ears are not visibly dirty, then there is no need to clean them. As for nail trimmings, note that outdoor cats should not get their nails trimmed because they need them for hunting, climbing, and self-defense. However, some indoor cats may need regular nail trimmings, but this is a case-by-case -case basis. So ask your vet if it's necessary for your cat. It's easy for an indoor cat's nails to become overgrown, which can lead to other issues. However, it's important to know how to properly trim a cat's nails before you attempt it so you don't end up nicking the quick of the nail. If it's easier, consider going to a vet or groomer for at least the first few times. They should be able to show you how to do it at home. When you go to trim a cat's nails, be patient. It can be uncomfortable for your cat and you likely won't be able to get all of their nails trimmed in one sitting. Give them lots of treats and love. If this is something your particular cat needs, you should be trimming their nails once every few weeks. Overall, cats tend to be excellent at self-grooming and usually just need you to brush them regularly. Bathing your cat is generally not a good idea as it's a stressful, unpleasant, and usually unnecessary experience. However, if you ever have to bathe your cat, do so with patience and guidance from your vet. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up because it helps other cat lovers find our content. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next Catterday for another video.